we were see we were discussing this before right. we started doing started. this yeah. and um, so what i was i was uh, telling kunal was that you know and this kind of deals with a lot of what happens every time that there's a huge furor over something that's happening in stand up comedy someone's made a joke 800 million people hate him want to kill him etc etc um the thing is as a as a novelist you have a certain amount of control over who you're engaging with right which is why we pretty much get away with saying or you know writing or even drawing for graphic novels pretty much whatever we want to like the 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 concept of censorship isn't something even self censorship really isn't something we have to deal with right yeah. because i mean even though publishers are pretty conservative chances i mean a lot of books get published without even an editor reading them wow. right so <laughs> with typos and all yeah yeah um such shitty yeah um so the so at least you don't you're not scared that someone with completely no kind of a uh, bias towards the kind of material yeah. you're generating is yeah. going to uh, read your work yeah um whereas the you know you never know who's in a large stand up audience yeah what you do a show and fuck off right then people like get upset they tweet to you and all i'll kill you motherfucker i'm in bombay today He's like okay i'm in good gaon fuck it <laughs> see but Bombay. you're already like a fast rising shining star of stand up comedy Yeah that's what right. I'm told by so, people not seriously. Yes, say yes. <laughs> um <laughs> So the the more your star shines, right. Um the likelier you are to come back to a place where someone is previously offended. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. So you can't say I'm in Gurgaon today, yeah, but I know you're coming back tomorrow. Right. So should yeah, you think actually, about it? I don't I can't think of anyone who'd be that offended <laughs> at a joke who'd come to my show twice to beat me up. <laughs> because i mean stand up comedy is in some ways the kind of cultural successor of writing books in india in the sense that there was a point of time in say the mid 90s to say the right. early 2000s where um not the larger mass of indian students certainly right. but it was considered a cool thing to do in a way that being a stand up comedian is, is right considered now. cool right now. right now so what has happened as a result of the things that have happened to indian books mm. um is that the kind of attendant loonies and crackpots right have now moved to stand up comedy true so the you can actually now that you pointed out like this yeah i could land up into trouble for anything mm. that i say in the future or i mean who, today who knows mm. like but but yeah actually it could be a problem mm. But in what when you're an author, that's the best part about being an author is that you'll get like people will hate you, but with like because they're readers, right? They'll hate you with if somebody's gone through your full book and then he hates you. I feel quite pleased fine. actually. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. he completed your book and then he's logically told you whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Here people have just walked into a stand-up show and then they hate you for life. Yeah. Mostly one of them will today, I think. <laughs> but yeah, the hate is pretty strong.